here on the red carpet premiere of the hit short film Cut Throat 2 with stars Jafario Smith and Bronx Mowgli. Now guys, guys, I'm really interested on these outfits tonight. Tell me what you're wearing, Mr. Smith. Well, I'm glad you asked, actually. This is a 100% Norwegian cat fur made specially for me, from my tailor who lives in Digibooty. Wow, wow, wow. Cat fur, that, that is quite interesting. And, uh, and you, Mr. Mowgli. It's absolutely none of your business. Well, what would you guys say that the moral of this story is? I'm just, I'm really, I'm really uh, interested in it. It's a really deep question, actually, but I'm, I'm prepared for it because I've thought a lot about this film. This film is really near and dear to my heart, as it is for Mr. Bronx here. Absolutely. Actually, um, you know, a lot of people will see this film and they'll be they'll be frightened by all the blood. And I don't want to give too much away, but I think this film is really about heart. This film is really about friendship. As you know, our characters in the film, are, they go at it, but it's really about... And, you know, uh, speaking of friendship, how are you and Samantha doing? <sighs> no comment. Hey. He doesn't need to answer about his personal life, okay? Bro, get off my back about it. Keep, right. keep out. Back keep off. And like he said, it's about heart, okay? And and when the screenwriters came to to write this play, they dug deep. You know what I'm saying? To find the missing piece. There's so much more to this film than people will see. You know, the fans are gonna love it. Those who aren't fans are gonna love it. Your mama's gonna love it. <laughs> and your pops. You're dead too. Now tell us, in a film of such quickly growing fame with such big name actors, how is it working with them? They're actually kind of mean. Um, they said if I didn't get my lines right, they'd give me a wedgie. I didn't even have any lines and they still gave me a wedgie. No, Mr. Mowgli, uh, in, the, in the film you had this very interesting, strong American accent. Now, were you in America for a long time to learn this? Did you have to study a lot? Tell us more about this. That has got to be the stupidest question I've ever heard. This, hey, this interview is dragging. I skipped a trip to Cabo for this, okay? You gotta move things along. I Mr. Bronx, in the film there's this famous line. I think everybody knows it, everybody loves it, I love it. Um, would you mind saying it for us for us today? It's what the fans want. Sure. Dude, man. I'm Chan the Barber, and I'm the best in town. Oh, dude! Yes, come on! Oh, my goodness. Well, you heard it here tonight, folks. Now, is there anything else you want to say about this film? Anything you would like to tell the fans back home? <laughs> uh, Mr. Mowgli, then. Get that fluffy ball out of my face. This interview's over. Go watch the film. How did you get involved with Bronx Mowgli and Jafario Smith? Well, I was playing basketball with the boys and they pulled up in their big van and they said if I got in, then they would give me candy. And I love candy! And it's right. That's my boy! Yeah! yeah. yeah that's yes. my boy! Right, now we know you are the brother of the famous Jafario Smith. How is it working with him? Do you feel like in some ways you live in his shadow? You know that film. It's an excellent film. You go see the film. But like, I'm not gonna give any spoilers away. Hi. But Hey, nobody called me a spoiler. I don't look like a spoiler. Come on. But like, at the end? Oh my goodness. At the end? The cutoff is made a especially for me by my tailor in Digibooty. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> what are you wearing tonight, sir? None of your business. <laughs> Get that fluffy ball out of my face, you <laughs> Get that. <laughs> Get that fluffy ball. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we gotta, we gotta get into this, though. Guys, we're almost done.